Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do an update of my planners. I guess I will be calling this after the pin since I haven't filmed a video I think in two weeks or so and I think the last video I made was um, a sticker how to make a sticker book uh, with your stickers using the happy planner. So today I will be sharing with you um, how I'm using my happy planners as well as my Hobonichis. So let's start off with the happy planner. So in this happy planner, oh, the ticking that you hear is the uh, Haunted Mansion clock from Disneyland. I have my front door open and the street sweeper should be coming in about 10 minutes or so. So let's see if I can film it before he gets here. So this is my um, sort of everyday planner scheduling. Part of the reason why I didn't uh, film a video last week is because I decided to uh, keep my bills out for February, but I wanted to finish up January where I uh, put down my sticker and the um, amount I paid, stuff like that, um, on the day that I paid it. Instead, I'm, I plan on keeping track of that on a separate sheet of paper. So let me show you what I am talking about. Okay, so since we're in February, I will show you March, just to give you an idea. So I decided to do it like this. So I have the, um, the month laid down, the bill, the amount due, amount paid, due date, date paid, and then if I have any extra bills that need to get paid, I have um, this here. Um, this is actually a Mickey Disney, um, what do they call it, like loose paper. Um, but I can't show you it because February is on the other side. And I won't show you January again because of um, my bills are laid down. But I won't be doing it for February and then moving forward. So this is what my layout looks like for last week. Again, my goal this year is to try to use up all the stickers and washi tape that I own. Um, either that I bought from Daiso, from Michaels, Happy Planner, or my own stickers that I made. I am generally a white space planner, meaning that um, I don't mind the white space. I don't cover it up with stickers or anything like that, like totally covered. Uh, but since I am trying to use it up, this is my version of um, planning. And this is for this week. Um, Chinese New Year's on Friday so between now and Thursday uh, I need to kind of clean up the house and uh, throw away things that we just don't need and just basically get ready for the new year on Friday and then Sunday is Valentine's Day so as of right now this is what it looks like next Monday I will film another video and you will see how I filled up this page so this is my happy planner there in this particular happy planner I am keeping track of my uh, exercise weight steps meals this is for last week I need to fill in Saturday or Sunday as well as Saturday um, I decided as I said before to um, create my own layout pages so these are Actually, it starts off like this, so it's blank. I uh, cut down an 8 by 11 piece of paper, punch the hole because I do own the punch. And okay, so then, so they're blank like this, and then I create created my own layout because at the time that I got this, I was having some medical issues and was waiting back for my results. And for me, this is what worked out. So that way, if I needed to change it, I could. And then if this didn't work out, well, I have blank paper and I can break it down how I want. But um, takeouts on this side, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, exercise, weight, and steps. And if I use weight while I'm exercising, I mark it with a red asterisk so I know. And then in the past couple of days, I didn't exercise. And for this week, I need to fill it in, um, you know, mark the dates and stuff like that. So I haven't done that yet basically prep it for the week and next week you'll see what this looks like but basically it's gonna look like this and it helps keep track for me what I've eaten where my weight is and whether or not I've exercised because that's really the important part of it 
So this is my fitness meal tracker. Let me stick him back in here. Um, yeah, the other thing I wanted to show you that's been driving me crazy is um, this, both of these, let's see, this is a gold, goal journal, was, and then this was a notes journal, but I made it into a sticker uh, journal. As you can see, I bought the recycled paper that I mentioned in my sticker video. And if you're a happy planner and they look like this when you buy it from Amazon, and then this is the, um, is it parchment sheet? I forgot what they call it. But so I used it for this. And then, you know, it's laid out like that. But if you own um, the Happy Planner sticker books, which look like this, I don't like, I like, I have a lot of these. and But I'm not using them because I can't see it. So what I did was I started going through these books ripping out the pages because if you look at the page it fits one half of the book and so what I did was I pulled up the stickers put two of these pages side by side right and if you look really carefully you can see the line right there let me put it in the Sun right here so there's this is actually two sticker pages that I taped on the back and then um, cut it down to size punched it and then now I have stickers on both sides. And see, you can see the line right there. This way, instead of having to flip through this book like this, I can flip the page and see what stickers I have from the Happy Planner sticker book. And so far, they've really been sticking on its own paper. And this is uh, this side is thinner than this page, which is why you got the little wrinklies. But that's okay. It's for me. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple more Happy Planner sticker books that I need to fill up and put in here. Now, let's move to my Hobonichi Cousin. I am storing it in this bag from Daiso. I am using the Cookie Monster as my cover. Really liking it. He's staying soft. And for this one, what am I doing to this one? This one, I think it's sort of my art one. Yeah. So for January and February, I've been keeping the Hobonichi Challenge, which I can't even get to the page. So the prompts are here. So um, if you have Instagram, in the search, if you type in Hobonichi Challenge 2021, you will come up with the prompts. Um, this month is myth Mythical Creatures, so that's where this is. In the weekly section, I don't have anything done yet. Let's see, what did I do? Again, I don't want to be shy with the washi tape or stickers. Actually, my plan was to go no stickers, and then I started putting in stickers because I want to use up my page flags. So this is for this week. This is what this looks like. Again, Friday is Chinese New Year, so I need to start keep cleaning. Uh, Sunday is Valentine's Day. This is last week. I decided to go with the cat theme because I have a lot of page flags that are cats. This is the week before. I decided to do a quote-unquote Monsters, Inc. layout because I do have a lot of page flags for Monster, Inc. And then before that... Oh, this is the weekend that I was going crazy with my stickers trying to organize it. Um, before that, I didn't want to do page flags or stickers or anything like that. So I was doing this. Really simple. And if you don't have stickers, washi tape, anything like that. I had a busy week, so I didn't do anything there. Um, you can go really simple, like this. And instead of breaking it down by the hour, um, I just wrote in what I did during that time slot. And that actually made it a little bit easier for me so I can tell what I did or didn't do. Okay, so that is for the weekly part. And then for the daily pages, um, I wanted this one to be, um, other than the sticker that I put right there, something that I doodled. So the first half is, um, for January was food prompts. So let me just flip through this really quick. 
so you can see what I did. And I've said before, for some reason when we have food prompts, I want to write down the recipe. That way my uh, drawing is smaller, so it looks like what it's supposed to be. And then I can fill up the rest of the page or try to with the recipe. Except for this, like grilled cheese and tomato soup. Decided to do something silly. I need to go back and color this in. And then I think I stopped. Yeah. And then um, for the 20th inauguration, this is Bernie Sanders, but I think he looks like Dick Cheney. I need to color him in. Did Forky. And then um, my sister came over the other, on the 24th and brought me, I love Gudetama, the character, and they found potato chips. So I tried it. Uh, my niece really liked it. I couldn't really taste the flavor, but it still smells, thankfully, Cookie Monster doesn't smell yet, but um, I didn't really want to do this, but this is something that you can do in your cousin or your A6, um, you know, by taping it in and stuff. Then we went back to the food. And then for February, it's Mythical Creatures. And I don't know if you can see it, because um, I just penciled it in. I, haven't um, colored it in yet. First one is a unicorn. Leprechaun is choice number two. Kappa, Kappa is number three. So it's to be a ninja turtle putting on a black wig. And then I'm gonna probably try and draw a mirror here or something like that, or maybe a portrait of the real Kappa, and he's trying to imitate him. So I'm still working on that. And yep, that's it for now in here. So this is my Cookie Monster, using it as a doodle watercolor book, I'm trying to not make it so thick. Um, the paper's really good for, um, you know, watercoloring, doodling, writing. And last year I really um, used my pages by taping things into it, and I don't want to do that this year. And lastly, in this one uh, is my A6. This is the Zit. I forgot what this was called, Boy and the Dog, I can't remember. And this one in here, I'm also using this one as an art journal. This is more of a carry. If I wanna go out somewhere and start doodling, I can. But this is more of um, what I feel like doodling. So I'm not using the front pages yet for anything. Let me get to, so as I showed in the, I think in the beginning, uh, this is lava debating about the lyrics as you see I decided not to do it yet because uh, I like the way it looks and then I've been on a kick I don't know what it's been but it's um, the 47 Ronin and I uh, found a picture of the they call it the monument of I think where the Lord um, try to assassinate kill but he ended up slicing um, another Japanese official and then um, but they have this monument um, at the spot where I think it happened and so I decided to draw that or watercolor it in so I sketched it really lightly with a pencil and then colored it in with watercolor and then I've been sort of on this animal thing somebody on the watercolor group in Facebook did a um, Oh God, how did they do it? They uh, drew little animals. Actually, I think she did a cat page, but it just looked really neat. And I wanted to try something of my own, drawing animals and stuff. This is supposed to be Baby Yoda. It's not colored in yet. So again, I sketched it in with um, pencil. And then I went back with the, I forgot what pen it is. It's not a pen, it's like a kind of a marker, but it's a no bleed and um, you know traced it again with the black and then see like you can still see the pencil mark I did erase it yet from the pigs but that's supposed to be the three pigs a cat my my dog Angus uh, that's supposed to be a blue footed booby when I finally um, is it called a blue footed booby I don't forgot but it's a bird that has a blue foot which I think is really cute my rhino that's supposed to be Shaun the sheep a camel that was supposed to be a polar bear actually a bear, then it turned out to be a polar bear, sure, I don't know. 
a chicken, my, my giraffe, a panda, baby Yoda, and a koala. So I'm gonna try and fill this up with other animals. Um, yeah, when I have the time. And that's where we are there. So that is it for my flip through of my, uh, after the pin, flip through of my Happy Planners, my cousin, and my A6 Hobonichi Techo. My other A6 Hobonichi I'm using as a diary and that one I won't uh, flip through because basically I write in it every day at night before I go to bed. Um, that's it for now. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this. Um, yeah, and I'll be back next week with another after the pin with these planners. Okay, I'll see you later. Happy Chinese New Year and happy Valentine's Day. Bye.